Ciao ragazzi e bentornati, sono Manu e questo è Italy Made Easy and today I've got something really special for you and it's the first of a long series of useful exercises for you to improve your Italian in, in terms of pronunciation and melody and just overall making you sound like a, like, a, like a native Italian speaker as much as you can or you want. The exercise is called shadowing and I've created a video that explains how shadowing works. So pause this one, check it out if you don't know how shadowing works. But basically the idea is that I will provide you with a text that I'll be reading out, uh, speaking normal, you know, like normal speed Italian. And your objective is to imitate me and read the text after me a million times until you pretty much can say it at the same time as me and while sounding the same as me. So it's not an easy exercise, it does require effort. So it's only for the serious learners. But people who do achieve great results in any language, obviously that's not, I haven't invented this exercise by the way. In a second I will show you the instructions on how to perform the exercise so that you get the most out of it. Pause the video and, uh, yeah, here it is. Pause the video and read the instructions for your level, okay? Now, what are the objectives of a shadowing exercise? Like I said, please check out the video where I explain why you should be doing it. But basically, the way it works is I'll be reading the text and when you're ready to start shadowing, you'll have five consecutive goals. The first one is to pronounce, to make sure that you can pronounce each individual word the right way. You know, there will be words that are a little bit tricky, words that you don't know. So work on the individual words first. Once you get all the individual words right, then you can move on to the next level, which is level two, where you try to pronounce all the groups of words together. Next level is for you to work on the cadence, the, the overall uh, intonation and the pitch of the exercise. So try and, and repeat after me as I read the text and make sure that you sound pretty good, okay? Now your final level or your fourth level is where you also match my speed completely. So to the point that if somebody, if you record it yourself and you play the recording for a friend, they think it's a native speaker reading or speaking, okay? And that's basically your top goal, which is for you to sound 100% the same as me in this exercise because I'm providing the voice. But if you're shadowing other material, you want to sound just like the speaker. Anyway, that's all for the introduction. Like I said, it's the first video. I wanted to make sure that you know how to do it and enjoy it and practice, practice, practice. It will sound amazing if you do shadowing, even just 10 minutes a day. Do a shadowing exercise 10 minutes a day for three months. You'll be amazed at how much better you sound when you speak Italian with your own words, obviously. All right, ciao, ciao, enjoy. Today's topic is Elisa Toffoli. So I will start reading and uh, whenever you're ready, you will start shadowing. Elisa Toffoli, conosciuta semplicemente come Elisa, è una cantautrice, compositrice e produttrice discografica italiana. Nata a Trieste, ma originaria di Monfalcone, Elisa è una delle poche cantautrici italiane a scrivere la quasi totalità dei suoi testi in inglese. Ha cantato anche in spagnolo, francese, sloveno e curdo, oltre che italiano. Il successo in ambito discografico arriva a 19 anni con l'album d'esordio Pipes and Flowers, ma la notorietà al grande pubblico giunge a 23 anni grazie alla vittoriosa partecipazione al Festival di Sanremo nel 2001 con la canzone Luce Tramonti a Nord-Est. In 19 anni di carriera, dopo la realizzazione di 9 album in studio, 5 compilation, 2 album dal vivo, 5 album video, 51 singoli e altrettanti video musicali, ha venduto oltre 3 milioni e mezzo di dischi, riscuotendo successo anche in Europa e in Nord America. 
Tra i numerosi riconoscimenti c'è anche un MTV Europe Music Award. Nel 2013 il brano Ancora Qui, scritto da Elisa e composto da Ennio Morricone, ha fatto parte della colonna sonora del film di Quentin Tarantino Django Unchained. Elisa è stata paragonata dalla critica ad Alanis Morissette per stile vocale e a Bjork per stile musicale. La sua musica è principalmente descritta come pop rock e alternative rock. Eh, grazie mille e ci vediamo nel prossimo video and don't forget to subscribe ciao ciao